I wanted to do a quick podcast on using nonlinear transducers for the evaluation of a pneumothorax. Now, this becomes important when you're doing an EFAST and you don't necessarily have time to switch over to the linear transducer. You can actually tell if the patient has lung sliding or not using the curvilinear transducer and, wait for it, even the phased array transducer. Now, if you want to be more sensitive, more accurate, the linear is going to definitely give you a better image, but most of the time you can find exactly what information you need using the curvilinear and sometimes even the phased array transducer. Check it out. Is it necessary to switch that linear transducer? The answer is, well, sometimes. You can often see lung sliding just fine with the curvilinear or the phased array transducer. Check it out. So over here, we have a phased array transducer, and it's a little bit fuzzy because this is the lowest frequency transducer we have, but I can see some movement up here. This is A-line, A-line, A-line. This is a plural line, and I can see movement there. So here in that second image, we have decrease that depth a little bit so it even looks better and we can see good sliding there. Now a hint, if you're going to be using a lower frequency transducer like the curvilinear or phase array is decrease that gain. When you decrease that gain, it is much easier to see movement. So here I'm using a phase array transducer, very easy to see lung sliding, super easy to see lung sliding there. With a curvilinear, we run into the same thing. So over here we have the plural line here, A line, A line. We have this rib here, we have rib and cross section. And this plural line, we can see some movement there. But if you decrease that gain, you can see the sliding a little bit better. The best way to optimize that view is to actually just decrease your depth and to decrease your depth and your gain. That's where you see movement the best. As you can see, overall, it's kind of undergained. But when we're looking for this lung sliding using the curvilinear or the phase ray transducer, much better. And here is all three probes. So we have the phase ray transducer. This is on the same patient. We can see sliding here. This is the curvilinear. We can see great sliding. And here is the linear transducer, which is honestly the best one to do it. So we can see that especially between the linear and the curvilinear, not that big of a difference between the two. So you don't necessarily need to switch. Here is an actual pneumothorax seen with a curvilinear transducer in an actual trauma patient. You can see here we have that pleural line up here. I don't really see any lateral movement. Let's compare that to that curvilinear transducer with good lung sliding. You can see very easy to tell the difference. I would love to know what y'all's thoughts and experiences are with using the curvilinear or the phased array for the evaluation of a pneumothorax. Please send me a tweet, an email, comment on a post. Let me know what you think. If you want to come scan with us live, we're doing a course in Lexington, Kentucky in May. That's castlefest2019.com. And then in July, we're going to be in beautiful Bend, Oregon. That's benfest19.com. Check it out.